crowds lined up in front of a cultural center in Novi Sad. A feeling of hope hangs in the air. The Pro Glass Initiative, or Pro Voice in English, is hosting a panel discussion this evening. It's a full house. Dragan Bialogoric, a well-known Serbian actor and co-founder of the initiative, gets straight to the point. We believe if we wake up, we the citizens of Serbia, if we become active and realize it's up to us, then we'll become a force for change. The initiative was founded after 18 people were killed in two mass shootings in May. The violence shocked the whole of Serbia. Many Serbians blame President Vucic's government. They say it's fueled a climate of violence in the country and eroded democracy and the rule of law. Serbia is being held hostage. Serbia is a country full of violence. Serbia is a country where one man decides everything. This has to stop. I want a democracy, free media, an independent judiciary. Pavla Cicvaric, a 21-year-old political science student, is also here. The mass shootings shocked him too, and he decided to take action. The next morning, we meet with Cicvaric at his university in Belgrade. Serbia isn't a dictatorship, he says but a hybrid regime with authoritarian elements. It's a regime that's been undermining democratic principles for 11 years, at the expense of his future. I would like to see Serbia as part of the EU, as a country that respects the rule of law, and where there's not such a deep-rooted corruption. At the moment, we have a state in which criminals and politicians are connected. Many students here seem to share his views. They're unhappy about the country's rampant crime and climate of corruption, and the government's attempts to silence dissenters. We travel to Pichinchi, a town northwest of Belgrade. This is where Yelena Mihalovic lives with her husband, an opposition politician. She tells us their daughter was banned from preschool because of their political activities. It was very tough. I lost 10 kilos. I never would have thought that someone would want to discriminate against my child. It was very stressful for a family. Other children in the park told my daughter she wasn't allowed to go to preschool. She came home crying. The local equal opportunities officer confirmed her complaint. And Yelena Mihalovic said this is just the tip of the iceberg here. That's also why she joined the demonstrations after the mass shootings, when thousands protested for weeks. She also spoke out against the Vucic government. She couldn't remain silent any longer. We would have liked to ask President Alexander Vucic personally about the accusations against him and his government. But questions were unwelcome at this event, and his party didn't respond to our request. In pro-government media, however, Vucic regularly rails against the opposition who he says is trying to ruin Serbia. The opposition is calling itself Serbia against violence. But they're all bullies, and so are the people who support them. I'm not talking about ordinary citizens, but those who appear in public. Vucic himself is not up for election, but his party is. They have a lot of support in the provinces, and even in Belgrade, where the opposition is strong. I'm satisfied with the government. When it comes to the direction in which the country is moving, I think our values are okay. I don't want anything to change. They should continue to govern as they've been doing, and the current president should continue to lead us. But Pavlo Cicvaric and his fellow students hope this election will bring change. They're optimistic because the previously divided opposition is now united, and the European Union is keeping a close eye on the upcoming election. I believe it's important now for the EU to send monitors to Serbia to observe the process. Yes, the EU has a role to play here, but I think it's mainly down to us, the citizens of Serbia. Whatever the outcome, they're determined to continue their activism. The people in Serbia need to wake up 
says Pavla Cicvaric, for anything here to change.